Hello, Diana Teeters here. I'm in Final Cut Express, and today I'm going to show you how to use Digital Hotcakes 101 Transitions. There are two different kinds of transitions that come on this product. One are the full screen transitions, and, and the other are the kind that comes with the traveling mat. So first let me show you how to use the full screen transitions. So what I have here in the bin is a couple of images and I'm going to drag them down to video track one and put them right on the same right up next to each other. And then I'm going to take the fly swatter animation and I'm going to I'm going to drag it down and drop it in to video track two. Now the key to this is to make sure that where the transition goes full screen is positioned right over the cut. So let me go ahead and use the zoom tool so I can have better control over the positioning. And I'll drag the scrub, scrubber bar and I'll put it right between the two, right, right at the cut. So let's go ahead and move this until we get it full screen over the cut. And this is exactly where we want it now. Now I'm going to render this out and I'm going to show you what it looks like. And that's all there is to it. Now I'll show you how to use the transitions that come with a traveling mat. So I've got a couple of pictures here and I've got the DSL camera transition and it's matte. So first of all, I'm going to put the, this is going to be the outgoing clip and you want to put it on V1 and the incoming clip needs to actually go on V3 and the transition mat we're going to drag it to V2. Now what we've got to do is we've got to change the composite mode for the incoming clip. So I'll click on that and I'll come up to modify composite mode travel mat luma. One other thing, we come up here and we, we get the transition animation and we drop it in V4. Now I'm going to render this out so you see how it looks. And that's all there is to it. Happy editing and thanks for watching.